Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, I'm turning you around. Still some snow out there. Anything that was black is now melted off. Like our summer follow field here, it's black. Lots of water sitting out there yet. Little potholes. That'll soak away real quick though. But along this tree row, man, there's still a lot of snow in there. Which is nice. But anybody that had stubble fields, like look at over here. There's a lot of snow out in the stubble fields up here yet. So that's promising, right? <laughs> and in the bush, there's still lots of snow. I was just talking to my bro down in uh, Wood Mountain, Saskatchewan, down by the U.S. border, and he's driving all over his fields. He said there's a little tiny bit of snow left in the coolies where the sun can't get to it quite as much, but yeah, it's uh, there's no snow down there, he said. Like right now, down there today, like right now, which it's one o'clock in the afternoon. He said it was plus 10 and it's supposed to get to plus 13 Celsius. That's two and a half, almost uh, two and two hours, 45 minutes away. <clears throat> At our place, right now, it's zero. Anyway, I got a phone call coming in. I'm gonna let you guys go. Good morning, everybody. How the heck y'all doing today? So today is uh, Tuesday, March 29th, I believe. Not much happened yesterday, just did our regular choring, checking on cows. I was in the city for a little bit in the afternoon, getting some blood work done and had a doc appointment over the damn knee issue. Uh, gotta go back for an ultrasound tomorrow. Yeah, fun fun, right? Um, this morning, one of our cows, oh boy, excuse me, sorry guys, one of our cows that we bought a year ago, uh, she calved, so orange six, red cow, uh, she had a red heifer, and it's knuckled under at the ankles at this point, so... We'll see what happens. We might end up having to uh, splint her ankles, give her some extra stability for a couple of days until she gets the strength to support her upper body weight in the front end. Anyways, turn you around. There we are. So, yeah, we're just uh, gonna get couple bucket loads of feed haul to the cows in the windbreak corral slash pasture it's not overly cold today but the friggin wind is up last night that goddamn wind it got up to like 50 60k last night it was just friggin howling mm, so but that uh, red cow orange six we had her pulled out from the herd and she was actually in our calving barn so that was good and she calved we didn't lock them up last night because it was warmer right but it would all worked out for the best because she calved inside the barn she could have calved outside too but she didn't she calved inside so that was good but we got to get in there and bed that barn down it needs a bale big round bale of straw put in it anyways just gonna get this uh, couple loads, bucket loads hauled out to them girls, let them out of the corral, the windbreak corral, and uh, have a coffee. So I wanna let you guys go and we'll talk to y'all later. Uh, yeah. If you want my noodle. Pardon? If you want my noodle? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, are you wondering, guys, are you wondering what the hell CP's got in her hand? It's well, it's actually... It's cricket. <laughs> copper. 
<laughs> copper water line. It's water line insulation is what that is. To prevent sweating. Yeah, to prevent sweating in your water lines in your house, your basement, whatever. Anyway, there. You see that little calf way over there? That's our... Ouch. That's the one that was just born this morning. And uh, she's knuckled under, so we splinted her front legs. A stick on the back side, a stick on the front side, top side. Uh, we put a bit of a... It's actually a pee pad, like for dogs, for when you're trying to train puppies. So, anyways, we put that on her front feet. And then we put the stick over that and then just taped it in. Just for a couple, two, three days. Probably four. Um, until she's strong enough to... Those ankles get strong enough to support her front body weight. That's the idea. And it's cool out there. Temperature isn't super cold, but it is cool. The wind again, right? That damn wind. Okay, what else have we done? Well, we kicked a couple of babies outside into the big windbreak corral. Uh, that one right there, that one has never been outside, so until she gets used to running around in and out of this barn and out in the corral just outside the barn door, I figured I'll give her a day, 24 hours. Um, if you guys remember back a few week and a half or so ago, I was talking about psycho bitch that put the run on me. And then we had that other mean bitch that had the twins. We got them moved. They are now in the corral where our heifers were. Look at her deer with the headlight look so there's the two calves and that's mom right there and then there's the other one and her calf is laying over there and the heifers are in the big corral out that way on that uh, portable feed bunk and so yeah when I was putting those babies I just we managed to get these two mums in this corral and then to throw the babies in this corral, I just stuffed them through the friggin' bars of the corral panel. Works fine, except I twisted my fucking knee. God damn it, that's something you don't want to be doing right now, this time of the year. Re-injuring it. So, that's it for this morning. Now it's lunchtime, and then we'll figure out what the hell we're going to do after that. I got that round bale feeder I started, and I never did make it back there, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to now with this knee the way it is. It's very difficult to bend over, to weld low down. Pardon? We're going to do what? We're cleaning. Yeah, we got to clean those two back pens back there too, but that's bobcat work, so it's not that big a deal. Can we dump this in there? Yeah, you can't. No, because damn dog will friggin'. She's going to find it. Dog. We'll do it when I come with the bobcat, okay? Because I don't want the damn dog to get all those after clean afterbirth cleanings, because she'll have them on the doorstep. Anyway, lunchtime now. Your bag of stuff is there. Okay. You sure you want it there? Why not just put it in the tack room? Because you won't fucking find it, your mouth. What? I what? You won't find it. Why? Because you don't know how to look for stuff. Oh. Alrighty, guys. We'll let you go, and we'll bring you back a little bit later. Talk to you then. And that is how it's done. You just slide everything to the wall, guys. That panel goes to that wall. All of these gates and panels go to this wall. 
and in and out with the bobcat. Make sure to order a friggin' cleaning barn. Because if we'd have done it with a wheelbarrow, <laughs> we'd have been friggin' a couple hours easy. Here, what was it, 15 minutes? Yeah. Mm, so now we'll bed everything down good and uh, set our gates back up. Uh, when I go to set the gates up, I'll bring you guys back and show you exactly how that all works out and pins up for us for all you newcomers. Okay, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so we're basically done bedding. Just undoing my string. That's my side panel for the maternity. And then our divider panel is right here. And it gets pinned in here. One way or another, that pin will go in. I just got, I can't tell where I gotta go to line up straight. There it is. So that is a head gate with a gate within a frame. You can see the, when I open this, there, you can see that frame right there. Goes all the way up and over. And then this gate is inside of it. If any of you new guys haven't noticed before, downside to cleaning it right out, you end up with a big gap underneath the gates and the calves can actually, if they're small, end up being on the wrong side of the panel or in the wrong pen. Now we gotta grab this. This is our tailgate piece for our side panel for uh, when you're putting a cow in the head gate Let's see if I can do this one handed good man Oh yeah, there it is. It just drops in here and here. Now this gate has to get untied. Waiting on a woman. <laughs> I didn't see you with a pitchfork. <laughs> uh, you're giving me shit. I said go get a pitchfork instead of kicking the straw. Oh. As long as I don't see a mouse. I'm good. Mouse! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you should have saw her jumping earlier, guys. Well, you're looking at my feet. I was looking at the ground. I said kill it. Did she get it? Get them. How many did you see? I seen a couple, but oh. she was grabbing them. Okay, fine. Here, I'll let you pin this one. That's a spring-loaded latch, but it's not a self-catch. So just like so. Now this side panel. It goes like that, and the head gate obviously is right there. Most of you guys have seen a cow in here at least once. So yeah, now we're all clean and ready for the next one, which, who knows, maybe that'll be tonight, right? Well, hopefully not in the head gate. Hopefully not in the head gate, yeah. I, here. I'm not done. I noticed, I felt a couple of big lumps. You didn't shake with a... Shake, sugar done. tree shaking. 
See? Look. What the hell? She's choking on a mouse, mouse head. Yeah. <laughs> so, update on Little Red, guys. So, we got our parts. And my neighbor that's helping us out with that, he's working on it. But the inner head, there's like a keeper that goes on the, that's built into the inner head for, I can't remember what he called it, the scraper seal or some damn thing. Anyway, that's a machined part on the head. Apparently it broke. So we need to, he's going to see if they can remachine it. And if not, we might have to get the fucking inner head yet. Some of my beehive. You won't be able to. You have to buy the whole fucking thing. Fuck, I hope not. Take it off, blue. <sighs> Open the gate. I'm a weak man. Watch out for that mouse. It'll get you. You dripping? Yeah, but these bales, how long have they been in here? Since 2019. Since the fall of 2019. We had 150 or so in here. And the fucking mice moved into them. No, I think we only made 100, didn't we? 2019. Two years ago. It'll be three years this fall. When 2019. And Maddie started dating. 2019. Mm, so that was the Tristan brought his right now. You guys have seen her, Madison. And uh, that was the first time that he brought Madison out. And introduced her to his mom and dad. And he put her to work picking square bales. And she just dove right in there. Yeah, she just dove right in there. Now she's going to throw shit at me. What's happening, girls? What's happening? That fucking blonde thing ain't gonna have a baby for another 10 days. Minimum. Oh hell, two weeks. She ain't doing squat. I can't kick her out. Why? Here comes new mama. Oh, that's fucking Patch. This is Patch. Yeah. Patch is generally pretty good, but all of a sudden, for whatever reason, she'll show aggression. <laughs> Slap her! I don't got a stick. Her Go behind the door, you dumb animal. That's where your calf is. Yeah. See? He's stuck in the corner having a snooze right there. You goofy thing. Hey? You need to stick across the nose. Yeah. And where's the new baby? The one stilts. The one that got stilts put on, splints put in. It might be out in the back part of the barn. I don't see it over here unless it's on the other side of that feeder. I'm making them clean that freaking up clean that core out, the bottom ring of that round bale feeder, they can eat that down, because if I just fill it up right now, they'll just friggin' waste it, these rotten bastards. You want to fix this now? Who, yeah, I'm going to fix this broken board here right away. Oh. I 
don't see her now. She went outside. Whoa! Jesus, trip on a fucking cow turd. She must be outside on the other side of the round bale feeder. Are you huh? Are you making people seasick? Yes, I am. I'm making them seasick. Bouncing all over the place. Limping along here. <laughs> okay guys, we'll let you go. We're gonna fix this board and we'll see what the hell happens after that. Later. There. These two wild bitches got straw. Look at her fucking shaking her fucking head at us. That goofy fucking thing. I think she goes to a lot of action. A whole lot with of you. a lot of action with me. Go figure, guys. When, you know, when she was in the barn in that small pen, CP fed her and was scratching her fucking ears. And then I came along and she fucking started to lose her marbles and shake her head and paw the dirt. And This one, no. She really she settled down. She what? She settled down. This one you jump in there. You go ahead. Jump in there. I dare you. <laughs> No, she's definitely settled down, but I still wouldn't trust her to go in there and grab one of those calves. Any of those calves. Yeah, well, a lot of our cows you can't. Okay, should we go check on the big group? Yeah, we gotta. We bedded the whole barn down, guys. Should we bring uh, that new baby back in the barn from the round bale feeder? Oh, we didn't shake this out. I'll grab a fork. Look at him. Bedded this all down. Happy cows. Alrighty, guys. I'll let you go. We'll yammer at you later. I'm not locking them up. I'm just no. Like yeah. <laughs> Nervous to go through the soft stuff. Mm, from ruts from the bobcat. There. Not so bad now. There. Yeah, splints is getting along pretty good. Okay.